Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a DSi XL and apparently it doesn't read game cartridges. So let's fire it up. Yep, it turns on, both screens are okay. Let's check the camera first. Um, internal, um, switch, external back yep so that works so let's take legend of zelda phantom hourglass and yeah it doesn't read anything so before i get too carried away i'm going to find a, a cheap awful game um well let's yeah what have we got here? We've got Cooking Mama 2. I think it's possibly a bootleg. Yeah, it is. You can tell by the crappy sticker. Give that a bit of IPA. And push that in and out a few times. That should have cleaned up the pins. Just try the uh... No, we're not getting anything. So let's pop the screws out and come back. Screws are out. I've undone these. So I can attempt to pull the battery cover off and take the battery out. No more screws in there. Um, the water indicator has been triggered. So it looks like it may have had some water damage at some point. Um, but no, it seems okay. Um, there's a bit of corrosion under there. No, just muck. All the pins look fine. What does it look like inside? Hmm, can't really get a good, yeah, there's some corrosion on there, but those pins, yeah, a couple of them look slightly wonky, but not bad enough to stop it from working. I don't want you to zoom in on that, I want you to zoom in on this. Yeah, that one's definitely off centre. Right. You can see some of them are slightly wonky. I suppose I'd better get the phone. That was a pointless phone call. That was... um. Just junk mail. So yeah, let's um, have this board out. Unfortunately, I can't um, take this off without taking the board out because two of the mounting posts are on the other side, which is unfortunate. Slide these back down so I don't break them. And then let's get 
this, 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 and this out. Screws removed. Just gonna unclip this up here. Pop. Oh, hang on. Yeah, no, I did do that. <clears throat> Pop that off. And we can very carefully move that out of the way. Want the solder sucker and let's apply some solder to this one. Maybe a little bit of flux. Hopefully that's enough. Slide that over here. Hopefully, I can pull that one out. Yep, that one's not quite so good. Let's just apply the heat back to that. Yep, we're out. So that side is fully out. This side is fully out. down to this one That's not connected there. Background to this side. Okay, we'll go back round to this side because I appear to have pulled that one off of there. Fortunately, they are both still attached to the board. Well, not that the um, traces are still attached to the board. I haven't just completely ruined it, which I was uh, a little bit concerned about then. Right, that one is free and clear also. So we're clear here and clear there. And yeah, both those traces are there, so now I need to 
apply a little bit of um, force on here. What I could try and do, no, I'll just do it this way. There we go. That's that off and in the bin. Let's get a nice amount of flux on that. As I now need to get the rest of those legs off. Clean the tip. Once again, I'm going to try clean all this junk off with some solder braid, which I'm not very good with. some proper solder on there. a bit nicer. Let's um, clean this up. <clears throat> clean the tip and get a little bit on side ones and then I suppose we'll be ready for a new cartridge port which will hopefully solve any problems so I don't know why I've done that first because what I really want to do is put this on here in fact no I will attach it to those first clean the tip
get the ones on the side. And then load up some solder just to hold this in place here. If I can see my magnifying and glass, I will just have a, a check on those. Yep, they look okay. Just spin this one around here and but they all look pretty well covered and then we need to spin it round a bit Anchor it down nicely here, and obviously flip the board over. And we've got these two posts at the top. Just anchor those in as well. So plenty there. Hold that in nicely. Do you know, whilst I've got the board out, I am just going to add some fresh solder to hold that power socket in place a bit better. And maybe on the legs on the side. Like it works fine, but it's not going to hurt to anchor it in place. Better. I mean, we're already in here, so right. Hopefully. With any luck, this can go back together and will work. But we won't know till we get it back together. So let's start the rebuild. Ah, that needs to go in there first. As always, open the little bleeder up. And then... Pop it in there. sure all the ribbons are out so that they can go in. That made sense saying that in my head. Da -da. Let's put a couple of screws in.
what do we think? Works first time? I guess we will find out. But first I have to plug all the cables in. This was a touch under 20 quid on eBay, I think. And obviously I was more than happy to buy it with non-reading cartridge because even if the cartridge is unrepairable it's got two good screens on it and those are becoming more expensive and harder to find needs to get plugged in and then yeah let's uh let's chuck Zelda in I haven't plugged the touch screen in because I haven't find the battery now hopefully I'm gonna flip this over turn it on and we will see the legend of Zelda there we are phantom hourglass so it is now reading cartridges i just have to put it all back together excellent another job done take that back out <clears throat> so yeah that was just a case of a faulty card reader. It's a fairly simple task once you've done it a few times, but I do remember when I very first started to try and repair things, I had a go at a 3DS one and I did not have a lot of luck at all. I mean, this was all done just with a soldering iron. I think the card readers are about a five or so in total this has cost. Twenty-five pounds plus what are we saying half an hour of my time to bring it back into a working state. Unfortunately, the shell's a little bit worse for wear. And the um, the screens do have a couple of marks on them, but oh, you absolute plum! Stop. Stop, stop. I forgot to do that touch screen ribbon, didn't I? I'm glad I'd only got this far in the reassembly though. Right. You can sod off, stupid sticker. There you go. Right, let's try that again. I think I won't mess about with the screws I'll, I'll put the screws in once we're done but because nobody really wants to sit and watch me just put some screws in so we'll flip this over and how do we look oh great there we go
What does this cooking mama say? Cooking mama doesn't even want to fit. Oh, it's because of this horrendous stick. I tell you what, let's solve that, shall we? Stupid, useless knockoff cartridge. It's going in the bin after this video anyway. All right, it was there for a second. <laughs> there we go, cooking mama too. Yeah, you're a piece of crap. Where are you going? In the bin. Back to the Legend of Zelda. <laughs> so yeah, that mostly clicks in. Probably could do with a, yeah. That could do a bit of a clean up. But as you can see, uh, let's give it a clean up actually. Not the sticker. Oh no. Oh well. To be fair, this did come in a bundle of faulty slash untested items, and now it's just grubby. But in you go. You better work first time. There we are. Legend of Zelda, Phantom Hourglass. One freshly changed and replaced touchscreen. I really must stop knocking that. Right, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye.